It is busy as frig. There's buses and traffic everywhere. It's 44 degrees at 3.07 p.m. I just finished up a bunch of classes, friggin' rights. Got an exam done, finished up one class altogether, finished up instructional time altogether, got a paper due Tuesday, got a foothold in that. So we're making progress. You guys remember that restaurant I completely bitched about on tap? The one we pulled into and the back of it was on fire and then we had terrible service? There it is. Let me know if you remember that. That was several months ago. <laughs> So, I'm actually not on the way home today after classes. If this bus gets out of the way, I can... Are we going to fit through here? Can't piss off a school bus here. There we go. Done. Anyways, I'm not on my way home right now. Uh, shortly after 3, I'm over, going over to the grandparents' house to do some uh, Christmas wrapping for them. I'm not even filming myself, am I? Um, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be wrapped, and Saturday we've got some plans going on, so I'm, we're going to do this today. Get a little bit of that done. There would be the Kent State University Airport. And the Cessna 172 looks like. And the bus from Kent State is pulling in the airport. So they're taking the Aero students over here. Friggin' right. That tall building in the background, the tallest one on the horizon, that's where I just was. KSU Library. Remember all those cars that were in my flow of traffic a minute ago? Yeah, I got around those buses and now they are completely gone. That's what buses, one in re one on the right lane and one in the left lane, that's what they do. And I can't stand when they do that. They create such danger and slow traffic behind them because one, they can't go the speed limit, and two, um, they can't figure out that they should either both be in one lane so people can get around them. Sorry, it just things like that really pissed me off, as you can say. All right, you can do it now. Go for it. <laughs> well done. And I'll change the total. Done. Hey, what's up guys? It's been a while. Uh, it's about 1.40 in the morning now. I've been working out on the car for a little bit, hung out with Cannon for a little bit, talked with Colt and Bobby on the phone for a little bit. Lots of stuff today. All right, well, these headlights, the Hella Euro headlights, came with turn signal bulbs in them. There. And up until about two hours ago, they were orange bulbs, the same ones that are in the back. And when you look at the car from the front like that, you would see that they're orange inside. And that bothers me. I don't like seeing orange. I purposely got the European ones because they have the clear side marker, which looks so much better with my paint. And then they put orange bulbs on it. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll just change the bulbs out. Well, look, they're over here below the fender. And there is absolutely no room for your hands down there. So I was actually able to get this one without removing the headlight. So I swapped, I took the orange bulb out, and it's the same PY21WY bulbs that are in the back, and I put the orange bulbs from the front now back here. See how bad that looks? It looks like it's burnt out. It looks like it's black in there. So the orange bulbs are in the back. I swapped the silver vision bulbs on the front. So now the front's totally done. Had to remove this headlight, bring it out, put the bulb in, put it back. Yeah, it took forever. So I ordered new silver ones for the back. They'll be here early next week. And I'll just replace those really quickly and easily because that's simple. And by the way, I don't know if I filmed it before, but that's what they fixed here. Um, so I'll swap those out and then we'll have all clear bulbs. Well, that wasn't enough work. I came over here and I was looking at these and I'm like, well, I remember somebody telling me that a common problem with these cars is, is they rust around that. Well, how does it come out? Well, look at this. Let's see if I can do it here. You pull it forwards and it comes out like that. Look at my body here. Absolutely perfect. Not a mark of rust. All the paint is still there. It's beautiful. And watch how easily they go in. Snap. Just like that. Perfect. Did the other one. Cleaned them up a little bit. And then I got to thinking, well, I wonder what it looks like under here. So I got a screwdriver, put a towel around it, and I peeled off all of the trim all the way around the car. It was dirty. I cleaned it. Body's in perfect shape. Looks like it's never seen a winner. So I got that all cleaned up, put them back on. They're just a bunch of rivets. Snaps in really easily. So I'm excited with that. I'm such, I'm so anal with this car. But anyways, all, all of that's done. The new bulbs are on the way. I've got like seven things in the mail right now. Mostly Christmas stuff for people from eBay. Uh, a pair of jeans that are going to show up tomorrow. Some stuff for a car. Anyways, we'll see that later. So without going too much in depth, which I probably already have, I'm going to wrap things up today. i got a study thing tomorrow. 
for uh, physics, we're doing nuclear physics. Um, sounds a little heavy, it's actually really interesting and logical to me, so that's cool. I'm going to go and do YouTube and get this log up. Oh, that is freezing. That is really cold. I need to turn the heat on in here. All right, talk to you guys tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we got all those presents wrapped today. Then we went to Olive Garden for dinner. That was excellent. So tomorrow is 725 or 6 Friday. I'll talk to you guys then. Good night.